In the last video, we talked about industry structure and we used the five forces model to analyze the state of the current industry and maybe your place in that industry if you're running some sort of organization. So you use that model in order to tell, you know, what areas am I threatened in versus what areas do I not have to worry about as much. And from all of that information, what we're then going to do is make a competitive strategy that will motivate how we conduct business in that industry. So a competitive strategy is how an organization responds to industry structure. You analyze the industry with the five forces and then choose the best competitive strategy based on that analysis. Your competitive strategy is how you set up yourself apart from your other competitors. What are you going to do that will make customers choose you above some other choice that they have? An example that I gave in the last video is the generic brand cereal companies versus the name brand cereal companies. So a generic cereal company chooses to be low cost. And that low cost is going to motivate some customers to choose them over the name brand because, you know, they're saving quite a lot of money. The name brand, on the other hand, they're choosing to differentiate themselves from other companies by this perceived quality. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to put a lot of money into marketing they're going to make themselves stand out in that way so that customers will see the different choices and say, well, this is the one that I recognize from TV or from internet ads, or, you know, I saw Tony the Tiger's stream on Twitch, so I want to buy his cereal now. Um, that is going to provide customers with the idea that their product is higher end so customers, a certain subset of customers might choose that product instead. And of course, all of that comes with a certain amount of cost. So the end product might be higher, but because you've created this perceived quality about yourself, customers will be happy to choose that higher cost item. Michael Porter ended up identifying four competitive strategies four general competitive strategies that all business competitive strategies end up falling into. And that's based on two axes. The first axis is cost versus differentiation. Cost refers to, you know, having a lower cost. Kind of like in that cereal example that I gave, um, if you have a lower cost product, customers might flock to you in that sense. Differentiation refers to, instead of going for a lower cost product, have a higher cost product or service, but make that product or service stand out in a way that a lower cost substitute doesn't actually replicate. Whether that is some sort of experience that goes along with it, whether that is some sort of idea in the customer's head, or whether that is a better quality product or service, you know, additional features, stuff like that. So that is one of those axes and you can choose cost or differentiation for your strategy. The other axis that you can go along is industry-wide or focus. If you're trying to go industry-wide, then you might be targeting a massive, massive, massive industry. So the Costco Kirkland brand makes a lot of different products in a lot of different industries, anything from hot dogs, to cheese, to batteries, anything like that. They are an industry-wide brand. And a lot of generic brands choose to go uh, low cost and industry-wide. On the other hand, a focused strategy is going to target a certain niche. And because of that, they might be able to focus more on fewer products, which means that those products might end up being better. So a differentiation and focus strategy might focus on doing one product really, really, really well. For example, uh, Grey Poupon would be a brand that would focus on differentiation and focus. They say, hey, 
we're different because we are higher quality and rich people really like us or whatever, like us enough to be passing our mustard between limousine windows at a red light, if any of you have seen that particular commercial. And they're focusing on uh, a specific industry segment. They're focusing on mustards rather than all condiments or rather than all foods. Putting these two axes together gives us a quadrant of four different strategies that we can use. Low cost industry-wide, differentiation industry-wide, low cost focus, and differentiation focus. So once we as a business have determined our competitive strategy, this is what we've determined to be the way that we're going to stand out. And once we have that, we're going to then focus on, well, what systems do we need to implement in order to achieve our strategy? And that's going to be the next set of videos is working on the actual systems that we're using in order to achieve that strategy.